Black Metal Lesson number 38. Today I'm going to give you some tips with your songwriting. The first tip is having different endings at the ends of your riffs. So for example, having an A ending and a B ending. And it could be something very simple. Let's say you've got an E minor and then you play a C minor. So if your riff is this, With no variation or no different endings, it can get kind of plain and boring. But then if you just change it to, say for example, E minor to C minor, then the second time around, you add an E flat chord in there as well. So that's a very, very basic level example of how you can structure and tail. How, and that's just a very, very basic example of how you can structure the ends of your riffs. Now, of course, you can just work with the first version of just going through both chords. But I normally find that you need more things going on, either like a lead line on top or um, some kind of like vocal part or if it's like a proper like moody. But even so, I like a lot more variation with, and even if it's something some, a bit more on the aggressive side. You know, something like that, again, it just gets a bit stale for me after the first few repeats. I want a bit more in there. You know, just some more movement in the, um, in the guitar riffs and so that's something to try out and it doesn't have to be A and B endings it could have like different endings each time or a riff could just be one long 8 or 16 bar passage which is quite a cool thing if you think of the intro to Worlds I Create by Pantheon Eye or even the ending section of uh, Traces of Reality by Dodheim's God and it has those really long singing sections that go over quite a few bars long either 8 or 16 bar loops we have just got this long, long riff that just goes on and on and on. That stuff's super, super cool. So that's something to try. Just try and experiment with different endings and not just have like a four, eight bar riff just loop around and do the same thing. The second songwriting tip is variation. And this is more about how a song flows because I'm one of those people that quite likes a journey with their song. I want to be taken to different places rather than shown things if that makes sense so when you're writing a song sometimes it's quite nice to change things up say for example you've got like this slow kind of moody riff <laughs> You know, have quite extreme transitions between your riffs sometimes and I really like it when a song kind of just like drifts into a um, really really aggressive section for example but even if you've got something like but even if you have like a dyad based riff for example <laughs> Moving from like the dyad tremolo picture riff to like the more hung out kind of epic fist bumpy chords and I think is a really cool way of transitioning let the mood dictate the riff so if you've got something that's a bit more tremolo picked and um, I guess more atmospheric and you go into something that's a bit more kind of like fist bumpy 
that's something that can really work with your songwriting. Taking moods and turning them into riffs, thinking more conceptually rather than technically. The third thing is think of two guitars when you're writing. So going back to that first example with just the E and the C. Think about this. How many different ways are there to play an E chord and how many different ways are there to play a C chord? Because one guitar, yes, can play the four bar chords, but maybe another guitar can just do triads, for example, or a power chord, then a minor triad inversion, or even one guitar could play like these immortal style chords. And if you really want to go up to the super higher end of the fretboard, and you can even go to like the higher parts of the fretboard. If you really want to like really, really experiment with your chords, find as many ways to play a certain chord and see if that works with the music. Because an E minor to C could also be this. Which is a very kind of like Final Fantasy one winged angel kind of thing. And that's just E minor triad to a C minor inversion. Now, of course, I'm playing in D standard, but the idea is still the same. So yeah, you can, you can use like the one winged angel trick and just. And try and make that with two guitars, you know. <laughs> So you can have another guitar follow along with it. So one guitar is playing the triads and the other one just playing power chords. And both finish with the power chords. But yeah, use different harmonies, use different chords, just try new things. It's always cool to experiment. And even if you're um, messing around with scales and arpeggios, that can help as well. Because with the E minor, <laughs> You can use like harmonic minor scales over each chord, like play, uh, play some kind of like E harmonic minor lead line. And you know, one guitar's playing the chords, the other one's playing the lead line. So there's a few tricks, experiment with those and see how you get on. Thanks for watching.